We start tonight's meeting with incredibly heavy hearts. We share the grief, fear, hurt, and loss of the people who were injured and their families. In the past hour, the Oakland School Board addressed the shooting at its meeting underway right now. And joining us now to talk more about this is OUSD spokesman John Sasaki. And John, thank you so much. I know this isn't a Zoom or topic you want to do. Uh, unfortunately, you know, you're here with us tonight to talk about security and moving forward. But let's let's lay out kind of what happened today and what happens moving forward for the students, the parents, the faculty. Yeah, thank you, Juliet. Uh, I do want to point out, by the way, the, the kids that you showed earlier mm -hmm. at the very beginning of the show, those are kids who go to Oakland Academy of Knowledge, which is up the street from the location, the King Estate campus where this all happens. But uh, they were kind of caught up in it because that whole area was shut down So by the police, that is. So I just want to clarify that those were not students who were at this site where this uh, all went down. Uh, but obviously, it's an extremely traumatic uh, event for for so many people on that campus and and who are connected to the campus our our, our students our staff our families uh, do want to point out that that when this all went down shortly before one o'clock our staff was very quick uh, at uh, handling a very traumatic very high stress situation getting kids who are outside into classrooms securing them uh, making sure that the campus is locked down getting anybody who needed medical care uh, the medical care that they needed uh, getting the police there as well uh, we want to thank the police department for being there as well to to ensure that our campus is secure so you know extremely traumatic and, and this really mm -hmm. speaks to what's been going on in the city of Oakland here uh, recently that uh, you know the past past six eight months or so has been very difficult here in Oakland and you know despite the fact that that this kind of thing is happening uh, it's now happening you know has happened in one of our schools here it you know this is not who we are this is not Oakland this is not um, you know what what really our district is all about it's not what the city is all about you know our, our city is made up of wonderful people wonderful families wonderful students wonderful residents uh, and so this is not who we are and, and we as a community need to come together to address this in a way that that is unrivaled because we need to get a handle on this and get this kind of violence to stop absolutely I mean how is a community and school district you actually say enough is enough and you need enough voices to do that uh, I want to get to one question that a lot of people are asking right Right now, we don't have armed security on campus. That was disbanded. You told me earlier you have climate and culture ambassadors. They're not officers. So what does that mean for security moving forward? Well, let me let me point out. So we used to have a police department here in the district, and that was disbanded after the the, the George Floyd uh, situation happened, and we had a George Floyd resolution, which the board passed a while back to disband our police department. Uh, but th they weren't armed security per se. They would mm -hmm. respond to situations on our campuses. Uh, and, and so, you know, we do have the, the, the ambassadors who, who support our students. They are unarmed. Uh, but it but it really is about building culture building climate where our students understand and and anybody else who's on our, on our campus understands that the way you resolve conflict is without violence that the way you handle anger is by managing it and dealing with it and and moving forward in a way that is not harmful to you or to anybody else we know very well that when something like this happens it only causes harm it causes harm to the people who perpetrated it causes harm to the people who are caught up in it uh in including you know perhaps some people who are completely you know, not involved in whatever situation pops up, possibly innocent bystanders. Uh, and so, you know, we need to, as a community, as, you know, as police, as a city, as the district, uh, as churches and, and nonprofits, all the partners that we have across the city, we need to come together and make it very, very clear that not only is this unacceptable behavior, but we, we have alternatives for everybody, that there are other ways to handle that kind of conflict, that there are other ways to handle the kind of anger that, that so many people in, in our community and really across the country are handling right now. So yeah. we need to focus on that and make sure that, that there is an alternative that people know that they can turn to. No doubt about it. John Sasaki, thank you. Obviously, some healing moving forward, and you'll give us the latest information on even if there is school tomorrow. I think you mentioned that. So you'll be sitting yeah, out. I'll, I'll find out about that and I'll let everybody know. Okay, I know you will. All right, John Sasaki, thank you so much.